The Flash is getting renewed for a ninth season, making it the longest running Arrowverse show, now beating out Arrow. But what could this mean? Let's talk about it. In case you guys didn't already know, The Flash is getting renewed for season nine. Now, this is something that I was originally relatively excited about. Um, we knew that this was coming. We knew that there was going to be a season nine. Um, given the fact that if if season eight was going to be the last season, they would have mentioned it long ago because they would have wanted to build the hype. They would have wanted to get people to watch it. Uh, but given the fact that they never said anything about that, we were only led to believe that there was at least going to be another season. So they mentioned that, you know, season nine is going to be happening. Grant Gustin, the leading man, the Flash himself, has signed up for a ninth season without so much as a confirmation in terms of what will happen after that. You know, I think at this point, when you have a show that's been going on as long as The Flash, now the longest running Arrowverse show, um, it's it's hard to say like how much longer the show will go on. You know, I think if the writers have the material and the and more importantly, you know, if the actors want to continue to do it, you know, I think that's a big that's a big deal. If The Flash had said that he didn't want to continue with the show, then obviously they would. But that's not the point. The, the point of this video is what does that mean for season nine? What does that mean for the future of The Flash? Is this going to be the last season? I think a lot of that is still up in the air. But I wanted to read this article because I found it to be very interesting. And I think, you know, talking about the season, you know, the next season of The Flash, I think, you know, these these conversations are very important because we don't know what the future holds. Um, you know, many believe that this potentially could be the last season. Now that season nine is confirmed, that will continue to be the topic of the of discussion throughout the summer into the next season. Is season nine going to be the end? Um, my theory, if you care about my theory, you want to know what I think. Um, I, I think season nine very well could be their end. But I don't think it will be. I think I think it definitely could be the end, but I think they're going to try to take it to season 10. I don't think you go this long um, and this far into a show, uh, go nine seasons and not try to go for a solid 10. I just feel like you're this close now. Let's do one more season, end it with the bang. And, and this is just a guess. It's just a guess. But I, my assumption is that that is what they are going to try to do uh, with The Flash this season. So moving on to the article, I'm going to read it. OK, there's some interesting points in here that I think are worth noting. Uh, originally, you know, first they start by saying the Flash star Grant Gustin is finalizing a deal for another 15 episodes of the CW series, which is now expected to be renewed for a ninth season. Now, it's interesting that they say 15 episodes. Is that suggesting that season nine is only going to be 15 episodes? Um, and if that is the case, is, the, is this the end, the final season? Um, I'm not too sure, but let's read on. It then goes on to say that the Flash star Grant Gustin is reportedly finalizing another year-long deal for the CW series, which leaves the door open for season nine. According to a report from Deadline, Gustin has agreed to a one-year contract with a maximum of 15 episodes through a multi-year deal, well, though a multi-year deal was originally offered and will now take home over $200,000 per episode. That's insane. That's insane. And I think what's even more insane about that is I'll read it again. Though a multi-year deal was originally offered and will now take home over $200,000 an episode. So so he signed, he agreed to a deal, a one-year contract, suggesting that Grant Gustin isn't exactly sure how much longer he wants to do this. Uh, obviously, CW, they're like, hey, we could take this another 20 seasons if you want. And Grant Gustin, I'm sure it's like, uh, no, 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 no. I don't know if I want to be doing all that. So, you know, multi-year deal probably could have gone on from anywhere between two and five years. Um, and I think it's smart to sign a one year deal and say, hey, you know, we'll, we'll look at where we're at next year. We'll see, you know, what things are looking at, how the show is looking, how I'm feeling, um, because it is a lot. And, and, you know, as a new dad and things like that, I'm sure that priorities are shifting. And maybe you don't want to be in, you know, wherever that they film the show, Vancouver or wherever, you know, for nine months out of the year filming The Flash. Um, you know, perhaps you'd want to do something else. So um, it, it does worry me about the length. If, if, if he's signing up for a maximum of 15 episodes, that means that season nine could potentially be looking at a shortened season, which I think is fine. You know, we've gotten used to Netflix. We've gotten used to, you know, uh, some of the Marvel shows that have, got, that have gotten put out pr producing very strong seasons and upwards of no more than 10 to 12 episodes. And I think that's very possible. Um, if, you know, I think we're moving away from an era where seasons of shows need to be 22, 23 episodes. I think we can all agree that that just becomes too exhausting. It, you forget what happened at the beginning of the season by the time you make it to the end. Um, but anyway, anyway, 
So with Gustin set to sign another contract, the Arrowverse season is expected to be renewed for season nine, making it the longest running Arrowverse series on the CW after Arrow, which ran for eight seasons. Um, since Gustin only signed for one year, this could mark the final season of The Flash. Grant discussed if he would sign on for another season of The Flash Beyond 7 in May 2020 interview, saying that he was willing to keep the character going after the end of his current contract. I can definitely see, oh, okay, so, so he quotes, I can definitely see myself doing more than just one year, one season uh, that I have left on this current contract, he said. Season, seven seasons is it for most of the cast, actually, but I think it would be great if we can continue after that. I may never have a job this cool again, This that this many people actually tune in to watch, so I'm not gonna take that for granted. And I think that's smart, you know? I think that's smart. The Flash is a very iconic character, and regardless of where you stand and where your stance is on the quality, the CGI, the acting, the, the scripts, the, you know, everything like that of The Flash, we can all agree that The, the Flash is, for, at least for myself, it's still a show that I would love to see running. Of course, I want it to get back to peak Flash. I want it to be back in its prime. But I think, you know, just having the show around, you know, it, it's... It's just that comfort food, you know what I mean? It's that thing that you've been doing for a while and it's just hard to see it go, you know what I mean? It's kind of how I feel about The Office, you know? After a while, it's like, yeah, I would have loved to see the show go on. And even after it's over, you know, I still find myself going back to it. It just became that comfort food. And for me, The Flash is kind of the same thing. Um, so it, it's interesting. I, I think, like I said before, and we've had this in, in previous discussions, when you're dealing with something like The Flash that has a number of, of key pinnacle characters, it, you know, it, it is only common, it is, it is only, it is not too uncommon to have, you know, certain actors want to move on, do other things, even if your leading man like The Flash wants to continue The Flash even after season seven, you know, going into season nine now, it, you know, who knows what's going to happen with Candace Patton? Who knows when it's going to happen with Daniel Pennebaker? And and these are some key characters in the show that if they decided to leave, we've already lost Tom Cavanaugh. We've already lost, uh, we've lost Cisco. Um, so I don't really know how much the show can take uh, if another loss were to happen from the, you know, three of the, the main characters that really exist in the show. I think Joe's a main character too, but uh, we don't really see him too often. But anyway, you know, I think if, if they were to move on and and any of these characters that are left were to leave, I don't know if the show could survive, even if Grant Gustin wanted to continue. I think signing a one-year deal is probably the smartest thing that you can do. It ensures that, okay, I think I'm good for another season, assuming that you know some of these other key characters want to continue. And uh, it, it leaves you open for the possibility of saying, hey, I think it's, it's good to walk away from this as well. Um, and yeah, so, you know, I don't know. I don't know. It moves on to say, season eight of The Flash, uh, aired on the CW with the, the five episode Armageddon, which we saw, which pit Gar you know, Gustin's Barry Allen, The Flash, and the rest of Team Flash against the telepathic alien Despero. Uh, while the event was not a crossover, which it, to this day I still am confused by that because there were a number of times when it was listed as a crossover event, um, which I guess event, okay, that's going to have the characters versus them. You know, it's a very it's a very strategic way of changing the wording enough to have it still have that mass appeal right without having to commit to the idea that yes it is a crossover um it's a crossover event you know it's, it's a the flash event that has other characters coming in and out but yeah um so yeah uh, when the event was while the event was not a crossover it did feature several characters from other airborne series you know including you know black lightning you know mia queen some of those characters ray palmer um and it looks like uh I think it's the most emotional story yet for Barry, especially because of the ramifications of what happens as a result of Armageddon, said showrunner Eric Wallace in a previous interview. He also noted that the story that evolved into Armageddon as it exists now began four years ago when he first joined the series as showrunner. The journey begins four years ago at the end of Crisis on Earth X, uh, which was in The Flash season four. That was the first year I was on The Flash. Okay, so new episodes of The Flash, as you know, uh, for season eight return on March 9th. We are almost a month away, which isn't too far, which isn't too far. So we'll definitely get back into the Flash content and all that stuff. But yeah, I just want to talk about this because, um, yeah, I, I, I want to key, key in on this point that they're signing, instead of signing a one-year deal, he specifically chose to sign for a single year, 15 episode max, which like I said, leads me to believe two things. One, that we may be getting an announcement soon enough. Maybe they're not ready to announce it. They're still in the midst of season eight. So even if he, even if Grant Gustin has decided already in his mind that this is probably gonna be the last season, um, 
that is probably that could be something that's still up in the air still trying to feel it out see what you know the general consensus is as well as the fact that they wouldn't want to announce something that big right now even when supernatural launch you know announced that you know after 15 years they were going to be in you know entering their final season they waited until the last season was over and they were in the hiatus and then they came out with the announcement and said hey get ready this is going to be our last ride and i think that was a really nice way to do it so if the flash is going to be ending at the end of season nine um i can I, we can probably expect some sort of announcement like that to happen somewhere after season eight because they wouldn't want to detract from the attention that season eight could potentially get by saying that hey you know next season's the last one um this could affect ratings it could affect the the, the view the viewership of the show maybe people won't watch this season because they're like i'm just gonna wait for season nine to launch and then get into that um there's a lot of reasons why they could go about doing something like this but um yeah it, it has me a little nervous i'm not exactly sure what's gonna happen um i think if he was really you know i think if everyone was really you know set on you know continuing the show for multiple seasons we would probably see grant gustin maybe sign the multi-year deal um, but like I said, you know, with it saying right here that, you know, they're signing for one year, you know, it, it, it's it's up in the air. It's up in the air. But what do you guys think? OK, let me know what you guys think. Let me know what your thoughts are. Are you expecting? Are you anticipating? Maybe theorizing that season nine will be the last final season, the last run, pun intended, for The Flash? Um, and if so, how do you feel about that? Is that something that you're looking forward to? Um, do you think the show should should meet its end? Or do you think, hey, they're about to go into season nine next year or at the end of this year, whenever they launch it, you know, maybe it might be good for them to just say, hey, let's go for 10 seasons and then call it a call it a career. You know, um, that's something I'm very interested in. Uh, but whatever your thoughts are, whatever your comments are, leave them down in the comment section below. Also, drop a like on this video if you do enjoy. It really helps get the video out there and uh, really helps the channel continue to grow. And I appreciate you guys listening to my random rant ramblings these discussion uh posts are really fun i like to discuss with you guys all my thoughts on everything gaming tv media movies all that good stuff um like i said if you have any comments have any thoughts let me know down in the comment section below i'll be looking for those and until then i hope you're safe i hope you're doing well i appreciate you for watching and i'll see you in the next one cheers